we have had a week full of some good news, a lot of bad news. There's some devastating news in this hour as well. But I feel like every time I need help, I like mental well being help, I guess, I go to my dog. And luckily today, we found a viral dog video to share with you throughout the show in moments where I feel like we need a little <laughs> bit of mental health. So here's the video. Let me give you a little bit of a lead in. This is a video that went viral. The municipal police of Madrid apparently have this awesome cocker spaniel who knows how to do CPR on humans. Now, what you're about to see is the dog demonstrating CPR. He's not actually doing CPR, so he can't save humans who desperately need that life-saving procedure done. But nonetheless, Poncho is very talented, and you're about to see why. Take a look. <laughs> The best, like dogs, are better than humans. Let's just keep it real. Okay, right. They are overall, they're better than humans. Um, that guy looked dead. Uh, he was pretending it. to be. Yeah, well, you could tell when he moved his arm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so uh, this is what's wrong with America. No. People like Anna who say that dogs are better than humans, and people believe it. They do, and they treat dogs better than humans. In that's I don't the want problem with America. You're right. You nailed it. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Crystallized our problem right there. Well, look, I don't want to get too dark because it's a fun story. But yeah. we did a story on TYT Investigates where immigration officials literally treat dogs better than humans. Okay, but hold. That's not the dog's fault, dude. No, I know. I'm not hating on the dog. I'm saying it's so wrong with the country. I'm not blaming. The, the, Once again, but that the only dogs of America. That I'm only, blaming the humans of America. Right. That only that only buttresses Anna's point. That's what I'm saying. By the way, I wouldn't. <laughs> I, I have no intention or desire to treat humans worse than I treat dogs. Okay. But what I'm trying to say is, dogs provide like this love and loyalty and happiness. They're innocent. You know, they they don't. They don't have the ability to destroy your life like humans do. That, so that's why I say dogs are better than humans. But of course, I wouldn't treat humans uh, poorly or treat dogs better than humans. Of course! Humans. You I don't just have want to, I want to that. clarify that because I think that's the, the sense that you got when I made that statement. Okay. Uh, do you follow the dodo on Twitter? I don't. Uh, animal account? Do today, the dodo, it's the greatest animal account ever. So, I mean, anytime you feel like you go get your dog and you watch a couple of videos, and every single one of them, you'll be like, oh. <laughs> They're great. And there's not. It's like you know. It's like seventy one percent dogs, but they got cats. Mm -hmm. They got birds. Mm -hmm. that, that bird. This woman nursed the bird back. Let it go in the wild. Bird comes back every single day. Hangs out with her. Flies back every day. Mm -hmm. Just hangs out. Well, he's a bird. He doesn't have anything better to do. <laughs> <laughs> he can fly. He can fly anywhere he wants. Right. For free. <laughs> so uh, he as uh, he is in reality. Uh, uh, a bomb sniffing dog, mm -hmm. so he does not save people's uh, lives for a living. Uh, could well, he actually, actually do it? Yes, he does save people's lives for a living. Yeah. Well, I guess he does, but not through CPR. Okay, <laughs> I, did, has a bomb sniffing dog ever really caught a bomb? Well, that's a separate story. I'm pretty sure that that's happened. Yes. If it has, probably three times in human history. You're oh. an idiot. Sometimes, <laughs> of course they do. There's all, all these people walking around with bombs, and we caught them, and we never brag about it. Okay. Anyway, wait. We digress. We digress. Those the bomb sniffing dogs. This story is taking a turn that I, I am. Pre, I am um, fairly certain that you would find plenty of uh, soldiers and Marines who've been in combat in Afghanistan and Iraq okay. with dogs that are triggered to smell explosives that smelled explosives. Yeah, yeah. But those dogs are easily triggered. Okay, <laughs> they're little snowflakes. Fine. In a combat zone, yes, they find more bombs. Agreed. I'm talking about like train stations, etc., where they go sniff. And then they act, catch some poor guy that didn't do anything wrong or had some yeah. pot on him or whatever and ruin his life. This, That's what dogs do. I'm kidding, I like dogs. <laughs> this place and, and the people who work here have this incredible ability to turn almost anything into a topic of debate. It's <laughs> kind of amazing. Uh, and my intentions with that story was to do the exact opposite. But nonetheless, sweet story, sweet video that I will turn to in moments of distress. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.